Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Eben, and tonight's another exciting cold flow test at negative 50 degrees Celsius. We got our AMSOIL 100% synthetic ear lube. That's right, made right here in the United States. And this is 100% synthetic. AMSOIL is the first to make synthetic motor oil, first to make synthetic gear lube, and first to make synthetic transmission fluid. Going up against our SuperTech, this is our uh, full synthetic from WAMA, GL5. Both are the same specification. Let's do it, here we go. Negative 46. Negative 51. We'll retest here. Negative 49, here we go. We'll give you some temps. I think we got another stick in the mud. Our old stick in the mud example. Here we go. The stick, the screwdriver, this right here, the mud. Yep. We got another stick in the mud. Now that's ice fishing. It's that time for the behind the scenes footage. We got our AMSOIL Severe Gear Easy Pack. This is 100% synthetic. And this right here is a very, very important lubricant. This keeps the metal parts separated. And without those parts separated, you get metal on metal, you get metal shavings. And we're gonna show you a differential right now. All right, we're gonna show you what a diff looks like. All these little metal parts in here, all these metal sleeves, gears, all different components like that. And basically, these parts all have to be cooled by one lubricant. There's usually no oil cooler in these. And the best, most important thing you can do is run 100% synthetic. Now, they actually call a full synthetic, full synthetic when it's only 25% synthetic or more. So that's right. If you've been buying full synthetic, you're not getting the real deal 100% synthetic. And that's what makes AMS oil so different. Now, this is actually the very lubricant Bobby Unser helped Ali Amatuzio, the owner of AMS oil pioneer at Pikes Peak, 
back in the mid to late 60s. Uh, if you don't know anything about Bobby Unser, he's 12-time Pikes Peak champion, very important guy, and uh, has a lot of wins to his name, and that's why they call him the king of the hill. Well, when he switched to this lubricant, he was able to go from changing his differential every few practice sessions uh, to actually being able to go in the same differential all the way through all the practice sessions through race day into the next season on the same differential. Now you'll see there's all different types of bearings. There's needle bearings, pin bearings, all these different types of components that are in here. And they all have to be cooled and lubricated by one lube. And now we'll pull this sucker out and show you what we got. So you can see inside here these splines and all these different types of components. And then you got the input shaft. And basically the only thing that circulates through this stuff is this lubricant. And uh, it's vital for it to uh, operate correctly. And you can actually pick up a lot of power by running uh, a lubricant with a lot less drag and actually allowing that lubricant to run cooler because the hotter it gets, it thins out and it gets metal on metal and then you lose a lot of wheel horsepower. So it could be a big loss. So enough squawking about it. We're gonna get into opening this sucker up. So here we go, we got our easy pack right here. And uh, this easy pack is great because you can hold it with one finger. And then the other great thing is this isn't gonna burst on you. It can hold about 1100 pounds of pressure. So super strong. And now I'm gonna go ahead and prep her up. I'll give you our go-to on getting her all dialed in. And here we go. So we're gonna open her up. And what I usually do is I snip the tip just like this. And that way we'll be able to shoot her for you. We'll give you the whole shooting experience. And here we go. There we go. And then how I like to pierce it is you can peel this off, this piece, or you can pop it in. I usually just pop it in, it's easier. Just like that, just shove it straight in. That doesn't come off usually. You don't have to really worry about it, but it made it so easy. I just pulled it off, nothing fell in there, so we're good. And then all we do is thread her on and pour her out. And this is why I love the Easy Pack so much. You got tons of confidence. You can aim it, shoot it, and it uh, is easy as pie. And that's what the 100% synthetic looks like. And we'll give you an explanation on this right here and how mineral oil and uh, the synthetic are so different. It's almost like ball bearings compared to jagged shapes and rocks, just like this. These are all different sizes, shapes. And now we got her all funneling in. And this makes it easy to get into tight areas. And uh, you can also hook a hose up to it and squeeze it in and different stuff like that. So it gives you a lot of versatility. And uh, a lot of people, they want to know how much this costs. And I tell them it actually becomes less than free because you're not replacing your differential as often and uh, you get better fuel mileage. So the M's oil, even though it costs more up front, it actually becomes a lot less than free over the interval. And a lot of people, they can't believe it, but once they try it, then they can actually believe it. So there's our easy pack in, that easy. And uh, that's that. Now it's time for our Super Tech. So we went to Wama and we got our Super Tech gear lube. Now this is the full synthetic. Um, like I said, once again, they can call a full synthetic. Now this is GL5 spec, which is the same exact specification as the gear lube here. And that has the cold, uh, that has the additives for the clutch packs. And when those clutch packs come together, like I showed you here, all these clutches all come together and have different uh, rates of uh, friction. So that additive's in there. Now this right here, this would be like a mineral oil, jagged shapes, different sizes under a microscope, the molecules. This right here would be like Amsoil, 100% synthetic. Now they can call a synthetic blend a synthetic blend at one to 15% synthetic or more. Uh, full synthetic, they can call it at 25% synthetic or more. So when they say full, it's actually primarily mineral oil usually. And the only real 100% synthetics out there, there's not many, there's Amsoil, there's Motul, and there's one they make in Japan that I was told about, Enos. Now, we did a video on that one. I think they might've changed that. I don't know if they're at 100% synthetic anymore. It didn't, it didn't look, it didn't work well. You'll see that video, but we're gonna go ahead and prep this up. 
We'll give you a little up close trim, just like this. Okay, is that a stickler? Now, we'll go ahead and pop her in. I got some gear lube on my hands. <laughs> you can barely open it. <laughs> and now we got the same little cap here on the top. So we'll just go ahead and just whoop, shove her in. And I'm happy with that. Nothing came off. We're good. Just going to thread her on. And she boo boo. Now we'll empty this in. Not quite as much confidence as the easy pack, but it's still pliable. <laughs> so we'll get our gear loom in. And there she is. All right, and into the cryogenic freezer we go at negative 50 degrees Celsius. Hey, if you love this video, go ahead and uh, slap that thumbs up button. That really helps out the channel. And hey, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and tap that little notification bell. That way you can come back and watch Gob's more videos on how to get your vehicles to run longer and stay stronger. And hey, don't, don't forget, we got Evens end of month giveaway every last Saturday of the month. Next one coming up, March 26th at 11 a.m. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're giving hundreds of dollars away in gift cards. And hey, we might even have some more Snap-on tools to give away. So if you wanna get in to win, all you do is leave that comment within the first half hour of any of the new videos. And I randomly select people from the comment section. So hey, ask me a question. So not only will the 100% synthetic get your car to last longer, run stronger and run smoother. Another great thing is, is these fuel additives. Now this right here uh, is a game changer. This is the Dominator Octane Booster. Increases uh, octane by up to four numbers and really makes a huge difference in how clean your fuel burns. Um, I actually like putting this in about every thousand miles and I see quite a bit of a difference and uh, really starting to love this. And this right here, this is our upper cylinder lubricant. Now on the channel, I call these the Power Duo right here. This puts a film on the upper rings. You'll have less blow by, you'll have a little bit better compression, smoother idle, smoother higher RPM operation. You're gonna notice uh, less ethanol separation. So if you live somewhere where there's a lot of uh, humidity and moisture, this is a game changer because it doesn't allow the ethanol, gas, and water to all separate and this keeps it homogenized. So you're gonna have a much cleaner burn. And uh, this one you put in every full tank of gas. This one you just run whenever you want to. You don't need to run it, but I like putting it in about every thousand miles. And uh, I do like the performance bump when I run these together. It's very enjoyable. And now we got the PI cleaner. This cleans all the carbon on your injectors. And we're gonna show you right now exactly how this cleans your injectors. So we got our spray bottle. Right now, it's shooting completely straight. Now, we're gonna go ahead and turn this, and we're gonna get it to atomize. See how it's atomizing now? It's not shooting straight, it's kind of misting. Well, that's what happens when your injectors are running properly. You have this beautiful atomization, but when your injector is dirty, it actually shoots completely straight. Now, you might think, oh, it looks like more fluid's coming out. Well, it actually has nothing to do with that it actually has to do with the amount of air between each droplet of fuel, and that allows it to burn. So if you don't burn the fuel, you're just wasting it. Basically, it's blowing by. Some of it's going into your crankcase motor oil, which is gonna uh, really mess up your oil. It's gonna thin out quicker. It's gonna break down faster. You're gonna have less fuel mileage, less performance, less power, and a lot more deposits in your motor. So what you wanna do is you wanna immediately get this PI cleaner this is gonna make a huge difference in your performance. Uh, this, in a test, which you'll see down below, actually raised a horsepower on a GM motor by 14%. And uh, a lot of people, they find that hard to believe, but if you're on a laptop desktop, 
go ahead and hit the show more in the right hand corner. If you're on a smartphone, you're gonna hit the little teeny weeny reverse down arrow and that's right here in the corner. So click on that and you'll see all the product information on these. And if you wanna try the Amsoil products, uh, you can actually use my link and I would be your Amsoil dealer. So I can answer all your questions on the products in the future. This is what I do about 60, 70 hours a week here on YouTube. I take care of all my customers personally and uh, hey, this is what I get up in the morning to do. And I always say in the channel, lube to love, love to lube. And hey, with this right here, that is lube in action. And as I always say in the channel, if you want your car to run longer and stay longer, you're definitely gonna wanna subscribe to the channel. That way you can come back and watch Gob's more information on protecting your vehicle so it runs better than when it was brand new. And I want you to go ahead and check out this playlist here. This is on more gear loop changes. Check out this video over here. This is on more cold flow uh, on the oil and cold flow in the gear lube. And we will see you back next time right here on Synthetic Oil Protection. Cheers to protection, protection, protection.